Senator Gloria, I beg you, when you are elected, either the special way or through the elections that the other people went through, you become a big person in Nairobi whose word attracts attention. And the biggest threat, the biggest threat, let me tell you, Senator, is something that was spoken to by the greatest senator in the history of the Congress of the United States. His name was Senator William Fulbright. Go and read about the contribution of Senator William Fulbright. He said, once we get elected, we get something called the arrogance of power. The arrogance of power. Once you have the arrogance of power, you forget Senator Gloria. Once one has the arrogance of power, they forget the woman in Kisi who queued for six hours to vote for you as senator even when they have never seen you, even when they will never see you. Let us raise the game. Let us make good laws that will make Kenya successful. I oppose this bill. Senator Kajwang. Order, can, can the Senator be heard in silence, please? Madam Speaker, just like the famous inciter of bulls, Senator Boni Halwale has said, I also rise to oppose this amendment. Mrs. Madam Speaker, our job here as a Senate is to defend and protect devolution. The net effect of this amendment is to dilute devolution and to transfer functions and powers that have been assigned to county governments to national government institutions. Madam Speaker, I've gone through this amendment bill and I've got a very clear conscience in opposing it. I have further received instructions, Madam Speaker, from the caucus of chief executive, county executive committee members of water in Kenya. And they have said that they held their meetings and they decided that this bill, they are going to lobby their respective senators so that we defeat it on the floor of this house. And Madam Speaker, this caucus brings together CECs from all the 47 counties, irrespective of how they voted, irrespective of who their political hero is, they have all in unison said that this bill is going to take away the little powers and the little uh, space that county governments and county water service providers have. Order, Madam Commissioner, Senator Miraj, can you consult in low tones, please? And Madam Speaker, the caucus members include the CEC water from Bomet, I said oppose. The CEC member for water from Mombasa, where Senator Miraj allegedly comes from, I said oppose. So <laughs> I hope that they are going, to, including Kisi, where Senator Oroba allegedly comes from, I said oppose. <laughs> Continue, Senator. Ma ma Madam Speaker. Order, Senator Gloria. And, uh, and, and I think, uh, and I think uh, Madam Speaker, would have really benefited from the report of the Standing Committee on this particular amendment. Because the report of Senator Roba, what is your point of order? Madam Speaker, statement of fact. I don't allegedly come from Kisi County. I come from Kisi County. You must apologize and withdraw. What are you trying to tell the electorate out there? Apologize and withdraw. Senator Oruoba, Senator Oruoba allegedly means he does not know. Madam Speaker, I have no idea where she comes from. So uh, there is nothing to, for me to apologize over. And I think that uh, if someone went to a good school, the word Pro alleged, the word alleged uh, is self-explanatory. Madam Speaker, 
allow me to go to the content of this amendment Order bill. Senator Uruba, please. Please. If you look at... Order the... Senator Uruba. Order Senator Uruba. I have nothing to withdraw. Uh, Senator Uruba, I, I, don't know where you I will from. not ask you again, please. <laughs> Madam Speaker, we are dealing with a very important matter that we are not going to be to allow ourselves to be to be to be diverted by certain sideshows that have become customary in this house. The objective of this bill has been touted as to be to provide for private public private partnership arrangements and connected purposes. Madam Speaker, if you look at clause three of this amendment, 